Welcome back to the Evil Within, my friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain the Ala Corvo trophy. Um, this trophy is obtained in chapter 2 of the game, and you need to go from uh, the point where you see Leslie entering this little shack. Um, you need to go from this point uh, until almost the end of the chapter without engaging in a fight with uh, any enemies. It's really simple because um, you can easily avoid uh, your enemies in this chapter, they move very slowly and um, they're not particularly smart either. So first things first we're going to just punch this guy and then dodge him and get inside the cabin and now we're going to jump to the other side. Um, you can do this, you can go for this trophy on your normal playthrough of the game because for the most part I do advise you that you av avoid uh, engaging enemies unless you stealth kill them um, and like I said it's really not that hard so we're going to get through this gate um, you don't really need to bother sneaking past your enemies here um, because like, like I said you can outrun them I skipped this little cutscene because I've already shown it on my normal walkthrough for the game which is available as well so you can follow that too. But like I said my main goal aside from showing you how to obtain the trophies to also show you that you can collect everything uh, in the chapter without uh, having to kill anyone. Like I said the enemies are slow um, so as long as you know where you're going and with this video I think you'll be able to to find your your way rather easily uh, but like I said as long as you know as, where you're going you won't have any problem avoiding your enemies uh, you can move towards the next area now the enemies won't follow you as you can see there's a guy up there that we can we can use a bottle to try and and make him look uh, the other way as we pass however this guy doesn't follow you up the cabin that we're going up next so it's really easy to to avoid him don't forget to 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 get inside this cabin to get uh, to pick up a little bit of ammo and um, sometimes he goes to look uh, if he follows the sound of the bottle this time he decided not to so he's just going to stay there but that's okay because we're just going to outrun him again. He won't follow us all the way up here and he will end up going back to, to his position. There's going to be another dude right here but again you can outrun him. The time that it takes them to just look at you and find you uh, gives you more than enough time to get inside the house, pick up everything that there is inside the house and then just leave. Um, You can, they can die from uh, explosives and so on and they can also get stuck in bear traps. Uh, if they die by that method it doesn't count so you don't have to worry about that. The only thing that you can't do is kill one of them yourself. This guy p gets up but again you can collect the key um, before he even manages to attack you. So now we're just going to make a run for it back down um, this road. And in the next section it can be a little bit tricky because we'll have to open a gate and as we open the gate there are two dead bodies who are going to... well they're actually not dead but there are two bodies who are going to get up um, so we'll have to lure them away from the gate so, in our, so that we can have time to open the gate and then uh, complete the chapter. So we're going to start by hiding in this area right here and we're going to keep heading towards the left so that we don't, the, the enemies on the road can't spot us. Be careful though because there is a, an enemy inside this house. And what we're going to do now, be careful because there are also bear traps here. And you don't want to activate them. Uh, we're going to pass uh, underneath this uh, trap wire right here. And I'm actually going to use, I'm not going to deactivate this wire because in case my enemies follow me, um, 
hopefully at least one of them will be taken out by the wire so let's approach the the gate you can't burn these bodies otherwise you won't get the trophy wait for them to get up uh, release they'll come running at you but if you run to towards your um, towards one of your sides they won't be able to grab you now we're just going to sneak very carefully underneath the wire again and we're going to wait here for a little bit uh, the two enemies will start uh, looking out for us if one of them comes here he will uh, activate the trip wire um, so he might die or not uh, it's really up to luck let's see if he comes if he doesn't come forward I'll just actually gain his attention make him come towards me so that he detonates the wire and I don't think he's coming towards me as you can see the other enemy is moving down the road so you have plenty of oh, he didn't die unfortunately so we're going to move towards this area right here wait for the enemy here you need to gain enough distance so that you have enough time to open the gate wait for him to approach you and now we're going to dodge him it's really easy uh, the enemies are very slow and not smart and now we're just going to run ahead towards the gate as you can see the other uh, enemy move down the road so we'll have plenty of time to open the gate and as we open the gate and move towards the next area we will obtain the trophy after this point you can do whatever you want because you will, you will unlock the trophy uh, always after this point so i hope you found this uh, guide useful like as you saw you can still collect everything um, get all the collectibles in this chapter um, and you don't even need to complete it until the end to unlock the trophy so just run past these guys and you will um, reach the end of the chapter so like i said you can do this on your normal playthrough while still collecting items so i hope you found it useful and i'll see you all later for more trophies and achievements take care